I never knew you existed before, but now you're all I can think about. From the moment I saw you, something within me said, That's it. That's the one. I was nervous because I have never been a guide before, but I know I'm ready for this moment. The last thing I remember before dying was reading a small card, then looking up and seeing terrible red eyes peering into mine. Since this is my first time, I decided to do what my guide did for me. You finally step outside your car and walk inside, stumbling a little on the icy sidewalk and peering tentatively at the icicles above. If I was able, I would laugh at the memory of my mother, or perhaps it was my grandmother, so long ago warning me of the deadly danger that icicles pose. But now I know better. That isn't how death works at all. You slam the door behind you, but I glide through confidently, for I know I am still invisible to your eyes. You turn toward the bathroom, and I blush and choose not to follow. Instead, I explore your house and ponder on what sort of person you must be. I wonder if you will take this gracefully or filled with terror. I wonder if you are ready. I self-consciously pull at my long black robe and glance again at the card I hurriedly wrote, making sure my writing is legible. As you exit the bathroom and head to the kitchen, I take my opportunity and lay the card gently on your table, where I know you must sooner or later notice it. Take your time, though. We're in no rush. You hum Bohemian Rhapsody to yourself as you pull a frozen dinner from the freezer and pop it in the microwave. I consider starting a fire to make my first guiding experience more grand, but I think you would prefer it my way. I can almost feel an echo of my long, stilled heart as you turn around and fixate on my note. Peering around anxiously, you bend down to pick it up and read it. I get into place, because I know as soon as you read my name, you will be able to see me, and I must make myself terrifyingly presentable. This is so exciting! My name is Death. I am not the only Death, but one of many. See, most people think of Death as falling asleep and waking up on another side, but that's not right at all. Death is like being pulled by your ankle deep into the depths of the oceans. Sudden, inexplicable, and suffocating. I am here to drag you there, for none can achieve death on their own. You shudder in confusion and look up to see me. A guttural and unearthly scream escapes your lips. Really? Am I that terrible? As I reach out for your hand and pull you through your dimension into mine. As the mortals see it. To your death. <laughs>